Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Fidel Martinez, and today we'll be discussing the discussion questions for today. And the first one is, why do you think studying child development is important for future educators? So I think studying child development is important for future educators because we need to be able to understand the, the students, right? Because sometimes we get students that are really smart and gifted, right? You know, they do all their work, fantastic on tests. And there's some students that uh, that need more help than others because maybe they have bad times learning, like they're not just not very good at it. But that's why child development and learning from that is a good thing. So we could help that student improve their education and help them learn more. Because if we just don't, we don't, if we don't understand how a child thinks and how they learn in the beginning of the process, then we're gonna have a harder time for. It's gonna make a harder time for us. So to teach that student because we won't know like the different ways to teach them. That's why I think it's a good thing to study child development so we could understand, uh, find new ways to help the uh, all students help them all, and to see what else, what new things we could come up so they could learn the material more. And the next question is, why do you think school systems can do to provide enriched learning experiences for students? I think. Um, and uh, they should make the material like the like teaching them like make it fun, because I had some teachers in the past that make education a little boring. Some of them are just extremely boring. Like I didn't really like enjoy being in that class, and I just wanted to go home. But there were some teachers that made the educa- um the education fun. Like they made everything fun. Like they made us do kahoot, fish kahoot. I remember my 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 teachers. Some of my teachers would um do a kahoot a day before we take a test, so that way it was a good way for us to like learn and see if we were, what we needed to study for the test, like when we went home, and it was also fun because it was very competitive and everybody wanted to win the game, so that's something that some teachers should probably do, like just make the experience all all overall fun because if we if we, if the student is bored and then and if the, like they're bored like of the material and like they're just there just sitting there and like they're not they're like they're, they're zoned out they're not understanding what's going on that's gonna that's gonna result on the test they take and that's gonna affect us too because if we don't if we don't do the um uh, do our um education properly then they're not gonna do well so that's why i think like making the experience fun is a good way for us to just transmit the information to them because that will help them and make the overall experience of learning fun and they'll actually enjoy school not like like me like sometimes i didn't really like going to school because some teachers were just very buff boring went off the books i didn't really know what was going on i was pretty much lost and some some and some um teachers didn't really like were like helpful because like they would just give us the information try, some of them would just be like oh you gotta teach yourself this and that's it so it's like like what's the point of us going to school if you're like what's the point of you being a teacher if you're not gonna like at least help us or like explain the lesson a little bit more so that comes with the next question what would be your personal touch to add value to the lives of our students i personally think that we should make students not feel like robots what I mean by robots is that we shouldn't be just like splashing information to their faces because I know like the material could well, like a, one one day the material could be hard to understand so they might need a little bit more time to you know learn to learn it so just splashing information like just reading off the book giving them definitions questions homework assignments can be a little too much for the student because if they don't understand the lesson and we just give out information like that without explaining it then they're gonna be lost and they're gonna feel overwhelmed the day of the test they're not gonna do good their homework is not gonna be looking good either so we should treat our students like our own children of course we're gonna be with them for like the whole the whole year so we're gonna make them feel like we're gonna make them feel that they're they're not gonna have any problems with us because we're there for them and we need to help them understand everything what's going on because at the end of the day that's our future generation that are going to take us for the um 
like they're gonna go off like just like what we did we gotta help them out that's the way some of our teachers were helping us